we often get to hear that it is because the sleep wake up cycle went for a toss or rather the circadian rhythm that went for a toss that led to the hormone dysfunction or the gut dysbiosis that one is experiencing so what is the truth behind it let us explore about circadian rhythm and much more in today's episode so what exactly is circadian rhythm it is nothing but the changes happening in the body at the physical mental and behavior level because of the changes in the nature ideally speaking in the light and dark changes happening in the nature we are quite aware of the sleep wake up cycle that is commonly spoken about which works in tandem with the nature but it is not just that there are four other cycles that works in tandem with the nature one the metabolism which is gut health two hormone health three immunity and four body temperature does ayurveda talk about it yes and that too in quite detail now if we are to understand that ayurveda talks about a day cycle a night cycle and then we divide it into three parts during the day three parts during the night say if we start the day in a tropical country by 6 am then 6 am to 6 pm is the day cycle 6 pm to 6 am is the night cycle now the day cycle is divided into kapha kala which is 6 am to 10 pm which is a sluggish hour of the day where you mostly feel a little stuffy little lethargic which is quite normal then from 10 am to 2 pm you feel the best you feel the most active because of the sun rays your agni is best your appetite is the best in every single cell the rate of metabolism is also the best including your brain and then from 2 pm to 6 pm you're quite worn out after a very active day which is also called the vata kala and which is by by around 4 pm 5 pm we are tempted to have a cup of warm beverage which is quite normal and along with that a warm snack these are all the natural tendencies of the body and they are not to be bracketed as something unhealthy or abnormal now it becomes abnormal only when you go overboard or only when you eat something unhealthy more about that later now coming back to the evening cycle or the night cycle it is like 6 pm to 10 pm again it is kapha kala in the evenings after a long day you have a tendency to slow down appetite is a little low and therefore you should be eating a little lighter you see with the change in time of the day the appetite changes the body energy changes so does the hormone level also change which is exactly why it is said that you should be checking for your hormone levels in the morning specifically of the thyroid hormone now while we are talking about the kapha kala in the evening that is exactly the time when you should be also having lighter nicer simpler foods like nice warm rice or khichdi soups because since you do not have a voracious appetite by then it is best not to have a big meal this is in case of a person who is healthy now coming to the next part which is 10 pm to 2 pm is a time when the body really needs to rest and reset including the brain now if you do not do that being the pitta kala it is the body temperature rises you have a increased appetite by midnight which is why often when we remain awake by 12 you badly crave for something sweet something warm which has got more fat in it like milk or ghee or indian sweets these are natural tendencies of the body if you remain awake because the body is trying to compensate for the heat and the rukshata or the dryness that you are creating because of remaining awake now the last part of the night cycle which is 2 am to 6 am the vata kala period if you remain awake during that period you're going to be very hungry you're going to feel very thirsty also you automatically have a tendency to wake up towards the last part of the cycle because thereby then your body is extremely dry and then you wake up now there is more to it but this is just the tip of the iceberg of the circadian rhythm the one that is specific for humans especially living in the tropical countries that is mentioned in ayurveda now as the place changes it also keeps changing 
but this is specific to tropical countries because you know ayurveda emerged in indian subcontinent which is a tropical country talking about the sleep wake up cycle which is the most commonly affected and observed one if you do not sleep before the pitta kala in the night that is before 10 pm then chances are that you will end up with pitta imbalance followed by pata imbalance which is why most ayurveda doctors keep telling you to sleep before 10 pm because otherwise chances are that you you'll end up with pitta and vata related disorders like you'll be having constipation weight loss bloating dry skin hair fall hormonal imbalances and many more but why the hormone imbalance specifically especially thyroid and uterine function hormones that is because when the pitta and vata goes for a toss there is more dryness in the body and these hormones are mostly steroid hormones and these steroid hormones are made out of fat so when the fat content decreases automatically there is an impairment in the formation of hormones as well does it happen overnight no it happens over 3 plus 6 plus months and also depends on the status of health of your body now while we are on it there is a case that i would like to discuss which came in specifically with these imbalances after a night shift towards the end of the same i'll also be explaining about how we fixed her health so this 24 year old female came to us with severe period cramps that would remain for at least two days joint pain out of the blue over past 6 months ever since she joined for a night job plus there used to be acne after a detailed case taking we got to understand it was ever since she started working that she started experiencing the same and how do we fix the vata imbalance now dropping the job is not the answer under such circumstances so what we did was we treated for the tridosha imbalance specifically the vata and pitta imbalance that happened in her body with the help of herbs two we tried correcting her food we removed all the vata provoking foods dry crunchy food like biscuit rasc nachos chips chilled food all of these were removed then we introduced more fat containing food like avocados khichdi warm rice soups etc and the fourth and the most important one we tried to reset her sleep cycle as in we taught her how to compensate for the sleep that she misses every night so how did we work on the sleep wake up cycle once she returns home after the night shift which was around 7 o'clock in the morning i asked her to sleep for exactly half the time that she would have otherwise slept during the night say for example if you're a person who sleeps for 8 hours in the night then you have to sleep for 4 hours empty stomach without any break ensure that you're sleeping in a dark room and once you wake up you start with the normal dinacharya not that you begin from breakfast but rather after getting done with the initial dinacharya which is brushing tongue scraping anjanam nasyam all of these and shower she was straight away asked to start her day with lunch and no more naps after that or before getting in for work if at all she was sleeping by mid evening if she was again asked to take a nap a short nap preferably in reclined position empty stomach this was to ensure that she was not creating more inflammation by sleeping in full stomach so this is the way that we treated the vata imbalance and pitta imbalance thereby making her get rid of the long standing period pain the period pain all was almost nil at the end of 3 months no more joint pain no more acne so that is the relevance of knowing circadian rhythm because if you do not follow the circadian rhythm then the chances are that you are going to constantly create vata pitta or kapha imbalance in your body hope that helps